Hey everybody, welcome back. Talking a little bit about Bill Murray today, and there's a specific reason for this, and I'm going to get to it as I go through this story and I share it with you. This is Daniel. Say hello, Daniel. How you doing, buddy? Let me put you down. One of the stray kittens that we found. So, Bill Murray has settled out of court. He has settled with his accusers on the misconduct, the sexual misconduct charges. And I'm going to show you an article here, and this comes from ET Online. And we'll go ahead and we'll read through this. And there's a couple of points I want to make at the end of this that I think are pretty interesting. Bill Murray reportedly reached a private settlement following his alleged onset behavior. According to a report published by Puck on Monday, the 72-year-old actor reached a settlement of more than $100,000 with the much younger woman who worked on Being Mortal, Anzi Ansari's directorial debut that reportedly shut down production in April after the alleged incident between the actor and female production staffer. E.T. had reached out to Murray for comment, and he does make some comments in here. According to the outlet, which cited multiple sources, the onset incident allegedly happened after Murray believed the production staffer, who was reportedly not in his co-star, Kiki Palmer, was flirting with him. When Murray and the woman were in close proximity near a bed that was part of the production, Murray allegedly started kissing her body and straddling her per the outlet. The woman alleged that when she couldn't move because Murray outweighed her, he kissed her on the lips, though they were both wearing masks. According to the outlet, they're wearing masks and kissing. That's pathetic. <laughs> I'm sorry. Just getting on my whole, like, two weeks to flatten the curve trip there. That's ridiculous. Murray claimed the moment was jestful, per the outlet, but the woman interpreted his actions as entirely sexual and was horrified. Both the wo woman in question and second staffer who witnessed the alleged encounter filed a complaint according to the outlet. Okay, so, and who does that? Okay, you think the woman's flirting with you, so that means we're going to jump at it right this second. Here's a bed. It just happens to be on the set. Let me tear it up. Seriously? Seriously, Bill Murray? That's how... <laughs> <laughs> That's how Bill Murray rolls, I guess. You think someone's flirting with him, so you, you jump on them. He, he watches too many porn films. I had a difference of opinion with a woman I'm working with, he said. This is Bill Murray talking. I did something I thought was funny, and it wasn't taken that way. I don't think that's funny at all. The company, the movie studio, wanted to do the right thing. They wanted to check it all out and investigate it, so they stopped production. As of now, we're talking, and we're trying to make peace with each other, Murray continued. I think that's where the real issue is. We're both professionals. You didn't act very professional, did you, Bill? We like each other's work. We like each other. I think if we can't really get along and trust each other, there's no point in going further, working together, or making a movie as well. Yeah, you're making peace by paying this person to be silent, is what you're doing. A source close to the actor told the outlet that Murray felt miserable. Yeah, because he got caught after production shut down and resolved to remedy the situation with mediation. The staffer likewise wanted to finish the film, according to the outlet, and the private settlement was eventually reached. Uh-huh. And I'll just leave this up here for a moment and let you go ahead and take a look at this. And what I'm alluding to here is not just taking a stab at Bill Murray and not just trying to like sensationalize or gossip here, but I think it's really interesting how these really wealthy celebrities always manage to buy their way out of everything. And it happened just recently also with Alec Baldwin because he's not going to court either. Alec Baldwin also reached a settlement for the wrongful deaths and so he's probably not going to be going to court at all. Just wanted to take another last look at the end of this article. So we'll jump to the middle of this paragraph and I'll read along here. News of Murray's alleged settlement comes after the actor had previously been accused of negative experiences and harassment on set. Fellow actor Gina Davis detailed working with Murray in her memoir, Dying of Politeness. David claimed that on the set of their 1990 film Quick Change, Murray screamed at her both privately and in front of the crew and allegedly used a massage device on her without her giving consent. That's weird. <laughs> That's really weird. Lucy Liu, who worked with Murray and Charlie's Angels, addressed her co-star's behavior on the Los Angeles Times. 
Asian Enough podcast in 2021, Lou claimed Murray hurled insults at her and his language was inexcusable and unacceptable. So he has a history of, apparently, if that's all true, because you never know with Hollywood, they love negative attention, but he has a history of kind of being an ass to people and of sexual misconduct and of rude behavior. And, the, you know, the, and there's always a difference between the public image of how someone is and how they really are. I heard this actually about Kevin Nash just recently, because if you go and you see Kevin Nash at a show, because he goes and runs the autograph circuit and shows up at like, you know, nerd type events, comic shows and toy shows and stuff like that, SDCC and whatever, that he's really friendly with everybody. But the people that have to work with him have called him out and I saw an article on it just recently that he's a real ass behind the scenes. He talks very rudely to people. He makes threats. He insults people. He's like a real prima donna and has this long list of things that he insists upon, needs that better be met or he's going to walk, that kind of stuff. But then he gets on camera and it's like, hey, everybody, how you doing? You see a lot of that. So you don't know how they really are versus the public image because they are manufactured people they have a manufactured personality that's presented to you so never take uh, celebrities at face value regardless of what kind of celebrity celebrity they are whether they're an actor a musician an athlete a politician and I do regard politicians as being celebrities because they are phony enough aren't they back to Alec Baldwin this ties in with Alec Baldwin in an interesting way in my opinion because it strikes me how interesting it is that these celebrities are able to buy their way out of trouble. It must be nice to have that much money. It reminds me of, um, if anybody was ever into comic books, uh, Punisher 2099 was a comic in the 90s. And if you were wealthy enough, you had what was called the black card. And you could use it to buy your way out of trouble in court. <laughs> and there you go. Another interesting uh, parallel is that both Murray and Baldwin are on Epstein's list. I wonder how many people were aware of that. Something that no one's talking about anymore because they didn't televise that trial. They talked about Johnny Depp instead. They didn't want you to really think about the names that were on that list. And I invite you to go ahead, look up the uh, Epstein Island list. Just look at those names. You'd be shocked by who's on it thoughts let me know what your thoughts are in the comments section down below please do give the video a thumbs up if you got something out of it i hope that you did share it if you can probably the only way it will get seen this is a very oppressed channel if you are new to the channel and you're wondering what's the deal with all the cats and the cat images that you've seen they are strays that my wife and i take care of and images of them actually help with the loading algorithm on youtube believe it or not if you wanted to help the channel out or the cats for that matter. There are links for that down below. Every little bit helps and we sure do appreciate it. And if that's it, then what more can I say? But stay tuned, folks, because there is more to come.